Boys, I was able to capture College Football 25 thanks to the EA Creator Network. The game is still a work in progress, remember that. But if you want to see what College Football 25 is going to look like with two people with thumbs, this is where you want to be at. Let's get it, boys. Dummy is your Madden Bowl Bro, what is up with these guys? Can make super bummer, cool. dude. All right, once again, shout out to the EA Creator Network for this opportunity to play the game. College Football 25, I would venture the most anticipated sports game in the history of gaming. Everybody's in for it. Everybody's excited. So was I to be able to play this game. I was able to play some of the best players in the world. But why not start with the best player ever, man? Henry is the Madden GOAT. Won over a million dollars. He's the first Madden millionaire. So many belts, so many rings. You guys know that. If you're not tapped in with Henry's channel, his content, his links will be below. Make sure you do that. He is the best player, bar none. We were 1-8 versus him last year. That one win is on his channel, along with the losses as well. So if you guys want to check those out, just search them in the tab. But you'll find them. But let's see, man. He's the best to adjusting. He's the best to figuring out. But is he the best at playing the game when it first comes out? Is he going to be able to find his offense right away? Is he going to have the glitch blitzes right away? Is he going to have what it takes to win early when we first get the game? Let's find out, man. Like I said... Please hit the subscribe button. We have cleared over 40,000 subscribers in Madden 24. We are aiming for that 100,000 mark. I'm also live right now on Twitch. That link is below. Go ahead and click that follow over there, boys. But let's get it, man. We're playing the best Madden player ever in college football 25. If you want to see what it looks like at the highest level, let's get it. All right, boys. Here we are. Alabama. I got those Bama boys. The best team in the game, I think. And Henry picks uh, Shador Sanders, Travis Hunter, Colorado. So it's going to be tough. He's got pretty much two players. And you guys know Colorado's roster. They got probably the two best players in the game. But other than that, they got pretty regular dudes. Uh, Shador Sanders, first play, going to take a scramble to the crib. You see Henry running that gun cluster. And one of the weaknesses of the cluster is pass protection. I'm going to try to overload Blitz the side with no running back, no tight end. Bring some pressure here. But it's hard to guard Travis Hunter up top. 95 speed cover boy he's a uh, absolute monster in the game both on offense and defense he plays them in both uh, i believe you can just sub them in i think actually in college you can sub anybody anywhere uh it's it's that nasty and you see right there rpo defense big difference from madden 24. i use alabama like i said i i think their uh, wide receivers are really fast milrose the best player in the game we get a big third and three right here early corner route big dot but my feet went out of bounds before I touched the ball. Illegal touching. I mean, you're just noticing how Henry just gets lucky here. Fourth down, he screams, and we got nothing doing. We turned the ball over early to Colorado. Uh, like I said, we're blitzing off the edge. We're trying to get a spy, but the quarterback's really – the mobile quarterback is really OP. So, all you guys tired of the rollouts and Madden, man, the mobile quarterback right now is tough. Speaking of tough, Travis Hunter on that wheel route. Quick, two touchdowns early for Travis Hunter. Uh, that's a tough way to live. We're going to try to run a little option right here. Made the wrong read. <sighs> Milro gets taken down second and 15. This time we're going to make a late read in the flats. And Shiloh Sanders pick sixes us. We're down 21. Not it's pretty cool. Shiloh did the Dion dance in the end zone. That's tough. All right, so we got to regain ourselves. We're playing the GOAT. We're down 21 nothing, But we have been down before. <sighs> We got a fight right here. We got we got a good team. We got to block this rush. He's doing a little glitch blitz over here. Uh, and good cover three right there. I had nothing, nowhere to throw the ball. Get to a third and ten. I really like these trips formations because they really spread out the defense. One of the biggest differences between college and football is just the width of the field just because of where the hash marks are. So your trips is just so much harder to guard because of just how they just get down the field faster and how far away the quarterback is. So I really like, as you see right there, just it's hard to guard three receivers on one side, and especially the running back on that side too. And I really like a spread out offense in college a little bit more than I like the bunch. But Henry's rocking the cluster. Uh, I'm rocking a little trips. Like I said, it's it's awesome. I, I like being able to cook out of that and really just push stress on the zone defenses. And we're putting stress on his pass protection and Shador Sanders puts the ball on the field. So we're right back, right back where we started. Just another reason why I love, love this trips, man. If you run any type of cover to shell, any two man under, it's bombs away. I put my fastest guy in the slots right there and just up the seam. Most good teams have a decent 90, 95 plus wide receiver speed wise. Most teams do. Alabama actually only has 97 speed. As we get to a fourth and 12 right now, 
Got to get off the field right here for Henry. Like I said, I've been over low in this cluster. It has essentially four receivers on the right with the running back, but no blocker on the left. So he motions his running back to the left here on fourth down to block, give him some more pass protection. He was stubborn and wasn't doing this too often. We switch stick to the right, but he hits us with that crossing route to the left on, on fourth down right there. Once again, he doesn't. If you don't pass protect, those dudes are going to come free off the left side. Uh, right here, he does slide the right way. Running back picks up the right person. He has all day right here. But we switch stick to the flat zone and took away that wheel route. Great switch stick right there, man. I'll have a video on how to use the switch stick the right way. Took away the wheel route right there. We don't take away this post. He hits it over the middle on third and 14, man. We got him to a fourth and 12, a third and 14. We're playing some defense. We're making a motion his, uh, his running back over the block. Right here, on the run, Shador makes that play inside the five. Now, I want to show you guys this uh, is pretty much how I want to guard the option. And I see him run an option right here. And my philosophy is this. I want to make sure the quarterback gets the ball. One, because normally they're slower than the running back, right? They have less moves. Whatever, whatever lets the quarterback get the ball. And the biggest thing I want to give the quarterback the ball is because we can put an elbow into his face and he can put the ball on the ground. That's what football is about. And boom! just happens just like that give me my football that's two fumbles for Shador Sanders early in this game um, so but we're back up against the wall here we're really close to the end zone we're gonna roll out this time he's gonna cross man a and I tried to beat him over the top <sighs> do it a little early was a little nervous you know being in my own end zone right there we get a huge uh, we do a huge pick actually so I was a little nervous being in my end zone so that, that was tough as Shador rolls out here goes wheel route all over it and somehow that what do you want me to do there, boys? What do you want me to do? What do you, what do you want me to do? A little upset with that, but we'll take it. Little veer option was bagged. So we're back down 14. We're all right. Uh, but two men under here. He's got a linebacker on our boy. I believe this is Law. Yeah, Law. Boom. Big play. 79-yard touchdown. And listen, this is I love this trip because that guy's in the right spot to where if you're in cover two, he's going right up right up the field splitting those safeties and we catch them in cover two more often than not this game uh and we allows us to get quick scores you know so down by seven and we lurk the goat 37 year old ball man lurks the goat you gotta let him know hold it hold it up ain't that with Deion? hold it up hold it up pick six user lurk right there uh we were able to get a pick six get us back into a tie game and now it's the end of half clock is running right here we get another sack on Shador Love the way we're playing defense. Love the way the Bamba boys are getting after it. Wheel route to Travis. <sighs> Got him in bounds, though. So only seven seconds left. I feel like we can play some defense. Everybody dropping back here. Just let him throw underneath uh, Travis Hunter again. Punch him in the face. Uh, now we're just in three deep. Rush a little bit. Everybody back. Make a tackle. Head to halftime. We were down 21 nothing. We're currently tied, so... All in all, I mean, you got to take it with a grain of salt. You got to be thumbs up all the way around. We get the ball. Run a little read option early. Let's me get the ball to the running back. Get a couple yards. Another reason I do like this trips, the reason I started using it is because of kind of some of the gadget plays. The read, uh, the read options, the speed options, things like that. Corner route right here up, and he dropped it. I tried to throw it over the corner. Fourth and three. Nothing doing right here, but I remember I have Jalen Milrow. He is the future. He is the GOAT in this game. Gets the first down. Big play by Alabama. We're going to drop back again. Catch him in that cover, too. We're going to throw it deep, but we're on the run, and we don't get the pass lead we want. And Shiloh gets me again. This time, he's going to break a tackle, break another tackle. Momentum in this game, when you start moving, you're not losing. They're going to break tackles left and right when they're at full speed, and we finally bring them down at the 10-yard line, but this is the perfect place to fight and hit stick the quarterback, but Shador gets his revenge into the end zone, and he shows us the watch to add insult to injury. Great job, celebrations. EA, that's dope. We're back down by seven, but we're going to fight here, boys. Step up with Milrow. I'm spamming X. And we fumble. I think, and it's going to go to the crib. I think I was spamming X so much that it registered a pump fake. And then the ball just like rolled out. I, down by 14. But we have been down before, boys. We've been down before. Down on the ground is Jalen Milrow here. Closing in the end of the third quarter. Drag route right there. We made one person miss. Get a couple yards. Give us a manageable third down. Once again, we're looking for that streak. 
He crossed, man, did a good job. We throw the ball away, fourth and seven. We're looking deep again here, boys. Fourth and seven, we're gonna step up with Milrow. We're gonna get just enough and know when to slide for the first down. Milrow gets it, here we go, cover two. He puts a mid read in the middle of the field. No, sir, he's not gonna run with our boy Law. Another cover two touchdown. Baja, as we get within seven points. Third quarter here, a lot of points scored, man. We're giving up big plays. And speaking of big plays, man, Travis Hunter again. That is the one thing I will tell you about this game, Rags. The best players really just stand out. Their juke moves, their speed, elusiveness, tackle breaking, everything. You see Travis Hunter, one juke that looked like Madden 24 right there. Takes it to the crib. He's way too fast for my special teams. Uh, so that's one thing I've loved so far about the game, man. The Milrose, Travis Hunter, these guys really stand out. And here he plays a little cover three, so we're actually able to hit the corner route. There it is. So if he's going to play cover three, now that corner route is going to be a little bit more open than the cover two. So uh, he makes a great tackle there on a run. Uh, we're running a little re RPO read screen pass. This is really tough. It's really uh, tough to guard. As I'm, After we do that, second and one, again, right up the middle. We caught him in cover two to stop the corner route. Boom, right up the middle. We get another touchdown. Down by seven here. Corner route. Ugh, we had some good covers there, but Shador missed that one. Um, yeah, we're running. This time we're running a little bit of uh, trying to blitz both ways. Because once he starts blocking his running back one way, I can't really do that overload. So I went with uh, you know double edge trying, and that's the fourth quarter. Fours up. Colorado on a drive right now that could end the game. But uh, who wants to end the game when you go fumble? Got him again. That time was the strip button. Listen, man, Colorado's just not built. And here we go, a little option. Made the wrong read again. Don't judge me. Options are different this year than the past, so it's a little tough. This time he's going to blitz, but we hit the flat. We got somebody open in the flat. First down, Bama. Uh, first and 10. He blitzes everybody again. We make the right read over the middle. Boom, our boy Hale into the end zone. Tie the game up then, kid. 49 to 49 and hit him with the gritty. Now we got to stop him on a money drive. We got to stop him on a money drive. That's that's what it's about. That's the name of the game. Travis Hunter again. First and foremost, we got to tackle on special teams. And we do that. Okay. I feel like our defense has been balling, boys. I really do. Four-man rush here. We're going to take away. Yeah. We took away the drag, and I switched on that man, but just wasn't fast enough to get there. Good read right there. We stopped the run. He's going to start trying to milk a little bit of clock here. Uh, the thing about regs is that you're going to have a 40-second play clock, so the time goes fast. Third and 14, we got him right here. He's able to hit the wheel route. Great read, great throw. It's hard to play cover two in this game. Now he's going to start milking. Jukes out there, falls down, and that's just like when you fall down like that, you're kind of conceding that it's just a little soft. That's like a little soft, isn't it? Like, or milk the clock here. That's how you want to play. I mean, you're going to get boom. Fumbles again. Fumbles again. This time, look, we're grabbing them, but we still hit stick them in the back and knock the ball out. Thought that animation was super cool. Has he fumbled twice in the fourth quarter with the running back? Yes. Is he normally really lucky? Yes. So for him to get unlucky, too bad. And what does he give up again? Over the top. He's cover two. That time we put some air on it. No road do that about 70 yards. When I told you he's the best player in the game, I did not exaggerate. So we hit hard, boys. That's all I learned from this game. When you look back, the hit stick is all the way back. Minute seven left for Henry. Second and ten. He's definitely capable of tying this game up with Shador. Over the middle, we're able to grab him. But he still had two clock on, so the clock is killing him. He has two timeouts left. Uh, but two clock is a little different this year, so he probably forgot he had it. And he gets a false start. That's going to knock another ten seconds off. He only has 20 seconds left. Shador scrambles, and he gets a over-the-line illegal pass. Great job. We're, doing, we're just sending a lot of pressure at him, just making him uncomfortable in the pocket. He steps up here, throws it underneath, but there's only 10 seconds left in the game. Make a tackle, eight seconds, timeout. Just got to stop Travis Hunter here and we win the game. We're in three deep. Everybody back. He goes wheel route here. Nothing doing. Three seconds for the dub, boys. He's in a little cluster. He motions out. What are we looking for? He goes for this one-on-one -on -one here on the left, and oh my goodness, is he the lucky incomplete the boys get the dub game one nothing but fight did we get lucky 
Yes, but listen, Henry's going to get lucky when it matters the most, really. So we'll take it for sure. Alabama's way better team than Colorado. But, you know, at the end of the day, you give up that many streaks to our boy Law, eight for 299 and five touchdowns. He's an absolute stud. But that was game one. Remember, boys, we're closing in on 100,000 subscribers. Please hit that subscribe button. Let's in the, get in the game two. Henry's going to pick the national champion, Michigan Wolverines. All right, boys, here we go. Michigan national champions, Texas. I use Texas, I think. They're also one of our best teams. These are two of probably the top five teams in the game. We'll use a little Quinn Ewers, although Arch Manning is in the game. Uh, we get nothing on the option right there. Second down, we're going to dump the ball off to our running back. And it's never too early to get put on the mixtape. We'll be seeing you to the crib. Why they watch. Baja, just like that. 7-0. The movement in this game is awesome. The jukes, the spins, everything. And the best part about it is the better the player you have, the more powerful the jukes are, spins they are. Especially in regs, man. Some of these running backs are awesome. And you'll notice that as soon as you play the game. The best players are really quick. Speaking of the best players... This guy, Orgy, is a nightmare. He's insane. He's super fast, kind of just like Milrow, really, but we're able to grab him there on first down, second and 11. Henry's going to step up here, get some good time, throw the ball over the top. I don't know if Texas has that pass rush that Alabama has. Alabama gets after it. These Texas boys are doing all they can. He hits another wheel route. I tried to switch stick on the right, wasn't able to do it in time. And that's tough. We're gonna rock. We're gonna rock our little option here. This is the option I told you about last game. The little triple option screen. It's it's definitely kind of cheesy, kind of glitchy. That time we go into flat. He has it covered. That time, third and five. Now I'll tell you something about uh, our boys at Texas. They got some burners. They got I think a night. They got 98 bond and they got two studs with like 94 speed and another 90. They got some burners over there. But most teams do. Most fast teams. Georgia has the most speed. Alabama, obviously. Tons of other teams. Oregon have really good speed. Uh, and Orgy is past the line right there. Uh, and he gets the, the flag. But but Texas, they get after it. I, I, I would say probably Texas can rival Alabama, Georgia, those guys as far as the best team in the game on regs. And I'm interested to see if there'll be roster updates in college, right? Like, what if all of a sudden Oregon starts going crazy? Are they going to become an updated team on regs? That's a great question. I've never asked, never thought about it because because they used to have default rosters. But we'll see if there's roster updates throughout the year. Um, let's see here. We get them to a fourth and 11. I'm just going to go straight two man under or man coverage here. He runs verts and man coverage is good against verts. And we get a stop there on Texas or on Michigan. We're going to run this play again. Whoop! Sneaky, sneaky. Don't don't want to do too much right there, but we call it one body with our boy Quinn. We're going to run it again. This time, not ideal with Quinn. You know, he's not that fast. But here I'm going to wrap a little wishbone for the boys at home. Just get what I can. Get the first down. I kind of use wishbone almost like a quarterback sneak right there. A little tush-push action. Quinn steps up right there. We've seen Henry gone to the 3-3 three, three. after he's seen what it was doing to him. He went to the 3-3 three, three himself. Right here, roll out. Nothing really doing right there. I get to a third and 10, and we're going up top again. Touchdown, Baja. I want to say he's, like, sneaking that dude in a soft squat zone out there. I'm not too sure. I don't know. But uh, he definitely wasn't able to keep up with the streak right there. That's what I mean about Texas. They got speed all over the place. And Orgy is mobile, but he will miss some passes here and there. Uh, big play. This dude right here, Loveland. I don't know if they have like a Bolitnikoff award. They do for tight ends. That dude is a stud in this game. He's insane. Speaking of stud in the game, Edwards is, I mean, they just stand out. The best players stand out is what I can tell you in regs. They really do. Texas getting after a good rush and another lurk of Henry. Let's go. Two games, two lurks of the GOAT. Come on, dude. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. We're going up top again. <laughs> we got hit. That's what I mean. Like, man, when you spread the... When you spread the, uh, ooh, let's go, ooh. you spread out the defense with this trips formation, it makes the speed that much better. They're not just stuck in bunch running drags and everything like this. They're, they have the ability to run right up the seam. And speaking of running right up the seam, we threw the ball right to him, and we threw a pick six. Now I learned something that play. Now, I tell people all the time, man, you don't lose, you don't throw picks, you learn. I learned I playmaker that guy back to the middle, and later in the game you'll see I playmaker him outside just to get away from the middle of the field. And I learned that right there that I don't need to do that. 
Uh, here we go. Throw a little drag right there. Embarrassed that we got tackled in the open field. But we're running in the, the, the end of the second quarter here. Looking for the streaks. Oh, we almost had it. We almost had it. He's going to go with a little... That right there. There it is. I learned. It took about four plays later. We're not going to playmaker him back to the middle. Playmaker him out wide. And here we're running a little bunch. He runs a little cover too. So we just dump it off to our running back here. Call, call our timeout as we're closing in to the end of the second quarter. Here he's going to go cover two. And we hit the outside fade this time. Put him up. Hook him horns. Touchdown. 28-14. We're all over Michigan early. Orgy rolling out. We're able to tackle him. Seven seconds left in the half. We're playing really deep right now. He gets it. It's only three seconds left right now, boys. So we're going to go three deep. Edwards getting the ball right here. We've got to make a tackle. That's all. Juke. All right, halftime. We're looking good. We're looking strong. We're in a good spot. But it could get better. That's all I'm saying. We're at halftime, 28-14. We know how good Henry is. He's going to make a run. He's going to make some plays. But right now, Texas is getting after him. Steps up in the pocket. I like having the spy there. You have a spy. He steps up in the pocket. You're able to send that spy. Get after the quarterback. Love that. Here he hits that. Gets to a fourth and one. Uh, fourth down. Now, I like to run a cover zero shell. Show cover zero and then play a lot of zone. But if I get to a fourth down, I like to just... Let's go stock cover zero. Let's see if we can make a play right here. Knock the ball out. <sighs> close. Definitely was close right there. Definitely was tough. But he gets the first down. Then he hits an out route to this dude. Love. And this guy is just an absolute stud. I think he tried to journal there. Journal is no longer in the game. Boys, if you guys are picking it up, don't try to journal. You can't do it. Here he goes underneath. Zero and three. Number zero and number three are the guys that kill me with Michigan. Here he goes in the flat to Edwards. And boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Fire. What do you want me to do, boys? Touchdown. Bad read on the read option. I, I, it's immature how bad I am at reading this read option. Second and 14. He's going to go cover three here. We almost hit that hook curl. We're still looking for streaks. We're a little streak happy right now. But this is one of my better dots, one of my best plays. I like setting up verticals, couple routes. One of the routes you're going to fall in love with in this game is the deep dig. And right here, right over the linebacker. And we hold on to the ball. Big time catch. I told you this before, man. Texas has some good receivers. Not only do they have speed, but they're good receivers as well. Here we're gonna go in the flat to our boy. Uh, he makes a couple plays, makes a couple moves. Third and short. Love a third and short. Drag again. You just go corner out, corner out, going everything right to left, and you hit something uh, left to right like that. Our boy Quinn making plays inside, inside what the 25. We got a field goal here. Field goals are really hard, so I don't want to kick a field goal, but we're able to take this to the uh, fourth quarter. Four is up. We're up by seven inside field goal range. Hopefully get this dub here as well. This time, this is a great play. I love this play. I've been running this combo a lot. He switched sticks on the left, the left corner to take away the running back and try to lurk me. Come on, man. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran, and you got to show it to him. We hit the curl route. Right over top of the switch stick. Able to get a touchdown. Was prepared for that. Great read right there. He makes a great read to this dude, Loveland. Pretty much Travis Kelsey in this game, man. If you guys are playing with Michigan or against Michigan, dude, put more people on this guy, Loveland, because he's an absolute unit. Uh, yeah, so he's hard to guard. And Henry went to a lot of these formations where he had more blocking. It became a little bit tougher to guard him than when he was in the cluster. We really got after that cluster with our pressure for the most part. Loveland again underneath. Tried to jurtle. Nothing doing there. But here we go. And we give up another drag. Got to keep him in balance. Get the clock running a little bit, but he gets out. We're up by 14. Hit the quarterback. Here's our boy Orgy. He's, I mean, he's he's another unit here. As we go to another read option, but we stop it. Third and goal. Tick, 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 tick. Coming down, and he's going to go a little wheel route here to tight end. He saw it was open. He tried to go late to it, and, and I knew it was open too. And this play, I just couldn't really put somebody there to guard that area. And we... Loveland gets us. He goes for two here, scores it. I'm a little nervous now, boys. I am. I'm like, if I turn the ball over here, uh, it's going to be a tough spot, you know, because he scores a touchdown and wins. We got to get a first down. And I thought I could run seven seconds off to get a two-minute warning. I could not. First down. I always like this, boys. First down, I feel like they're going to be aggressive. He's blitzing cover two. 
and, and they show me that. Quinn Ewers shows me that with his abilities. You guys see it. I'm like, okay, let's just dial it up then. You want to be aggressive, going for the kill shot up top. and whoop. Through his hands. So we get a second and ten. That's tough. Uh, right here, we got Shedder. We didn't like anything. Third and 13 here. He blitzed a little bit. We got this swing pass. He overran it. Get a third and 13. Get a first down. That's going to pretty much seal the game. He's got to play awesome aggressive here. And we throw up to our boy Bond. James Bond. Little swerve. Madden 17 action. You got to let him know. Baja. Touchdown. I'm going to go for two here because Madden told me to. And we throw a pick six. I, I mean, listen. I, I want to just stand on this opportunity for the EA Creator Network to let you guys know that I never think that Madden should tell me when to go for two and when not to. I'm an adult. I bought the game. Uh, I like to play the game. I like to be the coach, the coordinator, and everything. So if I want to go for two, I can make that decision. I hate when Madden tells what to tell me on fourth down and when to go for two. I don't really like that. Our boy Loveland again, he tries to throw a bomb. We're all over that with our Texas boys. Uh, listen, we're up by 10. Things are good. The, you know, the jello's in the fridge. It's all jiggling, except Loveland is just still a monster. He's still a beast. Here he goes again. Loveland again. Corner route. Rumbling, bumbling. Get this guy a contract. He scores a touchdown. Goes for two here, and he's going to get it with Orgy. So I got... I mean, we just got to recover an onside kick. That's all we got to do, boys. And we get the dub, and we get it done. Onside kick recovery. Things you love to see. Hate to lose. And we're going to kick a field goal just because we got to show them that we can make a 54-yard field goal on College Football 25. Easy money. Can you do that when you boot up the game here on the first night? Can you make a field goal like that? There we go. We get the dub. 44-39, Texas. That was a good game. We played a great game. Uh, I mean, just top to bottom. We really, I said, we really put the stress on the defense with that trips formation. Quinn Ewers throws for 412 yards, six tutties. Oh, he's a stud. He's the best quarterback in the game. One of them, that field general ability, you guys saw how easily it works. Showed me blitz, showed me coverage. Don't think it's good for the game, but it's in the game. I don't make the game. I just play the game, and I was given the opportunity to play the game thanks to the EA Creator Network. Awesome. Got to play the GOAT Henry. Man, if you guys aren't dialed into Henry, his links are below. Like I said, our road to 100,000 subscribers this year starts with you. Please hit that sub button, that like, comment. I got tons more gameplays, tips and tricks that will be out before you're even able to play the game, boys. Appreciate you guys. Need it.